In addition to measuring a patient's height and weight to calculate their body mass index, we are now adding one more documentation step that will better support the diagnosing of obesity. We need to measure and record in the medical record the patient's waist circumference. Determining the circumference of a patient's waist will indicate how much abdominal fat they're carrying, therefore leading to a more accurate assessment of their health risks. According to evidence-based medicine, health risks increase in a woman whose waist measures greater than 35 inches and in a man who measures 40 inches or more. Measure a patient's waist circumference by following the steps as provided by the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control. First, make sure you're using a tape measure that's at least 97 inches in length. This will assure that you're able to measure every patient that comes into your office. Number one, have the patient stand up and instruct them to relax so none of their muscles are contracted. Number two, place the tape measure directly on their skin, not over their clothes. Number three, the placement should be at the level of their belly button, just above the hips. Number four, as the patient breathes out, pull the tape measure snug without squeezing the skin. There should be no rolls above or below the tape measure and your fingers should not be under it. Be sure to document in the patient's medical chart, whether it's a physical chart or an electronic system you're working with. This measurement can be noted in the same area that their other vital signs are noted.